Are you ready to imagine it? This one is so huge, Carl had to blow the lid off the place. We're out in front of the IS, the Imagination Station, not to be confused with the ISS, but I think they might see this from space. <laughs> Maybe. Carl, what are you cooking up? Well, today we're going to talk about hydrogen peroxide. It's the stuff you have in your medicine cabinet, right? You pour it in a cut and it bubbles. And the reason it bubbles is because the hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, um, comes in contact with uh, catalase in your skin, which breaks down the hydrogen peroxide, turns it into basically water and oxygen gas. Okay. So, I, I can say okay, but you lost me. Yeah, well, it, well, let me show you what happens here. So it, this is just a bigger scale version. This here is 3% hydrogen peroxide. What we're using over here is 35. Oh. So it's much more concentrated. I have a catalyst in here, sodium iodide, and we're going to pour that into the hydrogen peroxide just to see what happens. Okay. Sure. Because it, it should catalyze it and cause it to break down. So I'll just I'll pour a little Let's in. Let's just see. Step back. Whoa. Yeah. Catalyzed all over. And look at that steam, right? This is an exothermic reaction. All right, so we're generating heat. We generated lots of oxygen gas there. But for me, it was a little disappointing because I really want to capture those bubbles in some soap. Of course you do. And then we can make a foam, <laughs> okay? So same deal here. We've got some hydrogen peroxide, 35%, some Dawn dish soap. I'll just add the dish soap into there. And I'm going to give you the honor this time, Tony. Excellent. Of adding the catalyst. Now, wait just one second. I'm going to take the cap off. I'm going to give this to you. Can't Let wait. me swirl this around a little bit. Hydrogen peroxide, soap, catalyst. Go ahead and pour it in. Go Let's on. see what happens. Just dump the whole thing in. We Whoop. release the oxygen inside, <laughs> and um, you can see we generate lots of foam. It's a giant blob of oxygen-filled, <laughs> soapy foam, yeah. which is really cool. It is. It's like Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But now, I want to take this one step further. I want to change another variable here. Instead of doing this in a big graduated cylinder, I have set up down here six flasks which <laughs> taper near the top and what i'm hoping for here it's is done. that and it's, it's gonna go for a while <laughs> what i'm hoping here is that as we generate this gas it is going to generate some pressure and inside each of these flasks we should get a jet of foam <laughs> shooting out okay but right. but one more thing everybody knows roy g biv right right we're going to go the rainbow color. We're going to go the rainbow color. So we're going to add some rainbow colors here. Now, I'm a little concerned about that foam. Might have a catalyst here. This is dangerous. We're oh, gonna boy. See if anything, nothing. Gingerly pour. Gingerly pour. Okay, so I'm going to add the uh, food coloring into this one. We got a red. I'm going to let you add the next one. Thanks. I'm going to take the next. And Sarah Gulch down here is going to help us with the other. So Hi, Sarah. We're just adding uh, food coloring. We've already got the soap in there. And this is a, a generous pour of food coloring, probably more than you'd ever have at home. Okay, I think we're all set up. Now, right. you saw what happened with that ball of foam. You're probably not going to want to put this microphone, which is probably pretty expensive. I'm set it down. Be, be careful with that. Sure. We each have two catalysts. We're going to do a little countdown. You're going to take two catalysts, and you're going to pour quickly into there, okay? Okay. Before we do that, I just want to go over the basics. If you're heading on down to the Imagination Station, here are the hours on your screen. They are downtown, of course, at One Discovery Way. And if you live in Lucas County, kids get in free with a paid adult admission. That's kids 12 and under. Now, I'm about to set down the microphone so we can conduct this experiment. Here We're going to talk really loudly yeah, as gonna, we I'm do gonna, so. Let me hand these to you. Okay, I'll thanks. Take the tops off do the you. hand off. Do All those, right. Just hang on one second. Let's yeah. make sure I have mine ready, because once we do this, there's no stopping. This is a, this <laughs> this is kind of a one done kind one of One and done. This is the only shot. I've got two. Sarah's got two. You've got two. You know All what? Right. These are a little bit uh, they lost. Top me off there. I'm top you off with <laughs> extra catalyst. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that one. All right. Okay. Setting down the mic now. All right. Okay. So here we go. Elephant's toothpaste. Three, two, one. Pour. Step back. Hey! Yeah! <laughs> All right. So Again, 35% hydrogen peroxide. We're using sodium iodide to catalyze the reaction. We added some food coloring. All those bubbles are filled with oxygen gas. It's just a classic. It's a brightly it's colored a mess. Take chemistry. a look on the ground, too, here. Hopefully, this will be cleaned up by the time oh, you head yeah. on down I'm, to the Imagination I'm, Station. I'm sure a little rain will come by and clean all this up. But we'll, <laughs> we'll come out with some water. But look, it is still going, like oh, you said. Oh, it's so and fascinating. So we are building up that beautiful Roy G. Biv color. Nice color. I don't know about you, Sarah, but I'm in the mood for some Superman ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks very much, Carl. I'd like to stick around and watch this bubble. We'll do that off screen because that's how you imagine it. Yeah. <laughs>